Hey everyone, if you're just tuning in, of course, I I am just tuning in because I just started the broadcast. I am attempting a RAM upgrade um, on the Synology disk station. This is the DS1513 Plus. Um, this is probably from, I, I would say, from their small business line. Uh, I bought this disk station approximately four months ago um, as a business server and I'm really enjoying it. I think Synology has done a fantastic job as far as the build quality is concerned but I will say also from a software standpoint amazing. Uh, if you want to build your own cloud uh, certainly you could take a, a machine put your own hard drives in it some RAM and you know hook it up to a network and throw like Linux on it or you know whatever and have your own you know server or even create your own cloud I mean there are, I believe there's some open source actually I know there's some open source cloud options out there so um, I just chose to do something a little bit more I don't know streamlined for me could I have done that sure I've got some old boxes laying around um, that I could have thrown some hard drives in, some RAM, and could have built my own box, my own machine. But I needed something that was going to be reliable, something that was tried and true, tested, works well for me, for my business, and I chose the Synology Disk Station. This isn't a, a formal review on the Disk Station itself. Really, I'm actually just sharing with the community how to upgrade the RAM. So there's actually some screws here. I've removed two of them and I just need to get this one here. So there's five total. And you can actually go to Synology.com and find out more about these discs, discs, <laughs> disc stations and um, figure out if this is something that would be good for you or you know, professionally or personally. All right, so I've taken all five, five, not five, five screws out here. As you can see, pretty, pretty tiny. Um, I'm just going to slide this off. Wow, four months of dust. All right, so that's, of course, the power unit over there, here, as you can see. And the existing RAM, I believe, is on the board, but there is a module that will accept another 2 gigs of RAM. Let me see if I can get the uh, camera adjusted there a little bit. Of course, I'm kind of out of the shot, but you didn't really tune in to watch me or look at me. So, as far as a RAM's concerned, I was saying that Synology, this particular disk station, can be upgraded to a total of four gigs. It comes with two, and so what I'm going to do is install a um, 1066 SODEM uh, two gig DDR3 RAM. Now, this is in packaging. I upgraded my MacBook Pro's RAM recently and I have these laying around. I should have actually upgraded quite a while because I had these RAM sticks of RAM for quite a while now. So anyway, um, uh, sorry, my kids are in the background. They're all playing, screaming, football's on, they're watching football and roughhousing. So I apologize for that. All right, so I'm just going to pop this 2 gig of RAM on here. So this is actually from, this is actually Samsung RAM. This actually came in the MacBook. These are uh, it's terrible. Let me see if that gets any better. Let me go 
Do you really need to see? Dude, it's blurry. Sorry. It's blurry. Anyway, these are two gigs, Samsung. Uh, it's actually what came stock in the MacBook Pro. So I, I got the other RAM modules because I upgraded my MacBook Pro to 8 gigs. It's a 2010 MacBook Pro. And so, oh, there's my kid crying away. Hold on one second. Sorry about that. Had to attend to the kiddo. Got his feelings hurt, his older brothers. All right. So this 2 gig RAM module is going in to the side here. As you can see, this is the motherboard. We're going to upgrade this disk station to a total of four. Again, if you're just tuning in now, this is the Synology disk station DS1513+. Plus. This is from their small business line. has five bays and a lot of dust. Always need a little canned air around. Not the canned air that comes out of my mouth. I'll show you the front. Ooh. Actually, killing my gas station here. So again, that two gigs there, and I believe there is the two the additional two gigs is on the board itself. So on this board. So this will actually have a total of four gigs of RAM. If you're looking to buy the Synology disk disk station, let me get this better view. And you feel like, you know, for a small business or even as a media server, then I would suggest getting one of the models that is upgradable as far as the RAM is concerned because some of the models um, from Synology actually have uh, maybe a gig on board, but it's not upgradable. But once you hit that business class, then you get a few more features. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and put the screws on the back here. Again, if you're still watching, cool. It's pretty easy. You can go to Synology.com to find out more about installing the RAM. And again, this disk station, again, DS1513+. Plus. It now has a total, supposed to anyway, 14, or 14, 4 gigs of RAM. So maxed out. Any of you guys have a Synology disk station? Pros, cons? I haven't really found a con yet. Some people might say price. I believe this disk station retailed empty with no bays for I believe $7.99. And then you can of course get each bay I think will handle four terabytes. So for a total of 20 terabytes and a five bay disk station. So $7.99 for the disk station itself without the drives. And then, of course, you want to get the 
Western Digital, like I did, the red drives. Those are the NAS drives. Because, I mean, this is really, I guess you could consider this a NAS network attached storage. Again, if you know anything about Synology or servers and boxes and stuff, then you know what a NAS is anyway. Not a NAS, a NAS. All right. So, of course, a lot of upgradability here. I just upgraded the RAM in this Synology. Four LAN ports here, uh, four USB, and then US, USB 2.0, USB 3.0 here. So, definitely can upgrade. And then, of course, eSATA ports right there and right here. eSATA 2 and 1. A lot of upgradability here. Um, I believe this thing maxes out with something around 60 terabytes, not within this, but this 20, and then you can add another 5 on top of that or something like that. You, you can chain them together. So anyway, all right. Well, what I'm going to do is go ahead and plug this thing in and get back to um, working on the server, uploading photos. I don't know. That was just, I don't know why I recorded this. I just wanted to. So if you watched, thanks for watching. Um, if you have a Synology disk station, then hopefully you know how to upgrade the RAM. That was fairly easy. If you don't have a Synology disk station, you're looking to build your own cloud or have a file server, photo server, media server. Synology has some fantastic apps out there that are baked in to this device itself. And the, the updates keep coming. And so if you want to have something like Dropbox, but you want to have it hosted here instead of on Dropbox's servers or Amazon S3 or whatnot, this is it right here. You can build your own cloud fairly easy. So for $7.99, might be a little overkill for some of you. There are some uh, lesser, <laughs> I guess, um, from a financial standpoint, there are some cheaper options from Synology, but I don't think you'll um, you'll suffer in the quality department. So you can actually get some two-bay Synology disk um, uh, options out there. And of course, like I said, this is five. I think it goes all the way up to eight bays. Uh, but anyway, five is plenty for me. And so anyway, go to Synology.com. I don't have any like referral links or anything and just uh, check them out. But so far, I highly recommend this box. All right, I'm going to plug this thing in, and uh, I'm going to stop broadcasting. <laughs> so we'll go from there. Uh, hopefully everything worked out. Like I said, if you've got some uh, notebook RAM laying around, DDR3-1066, throw it in your Synology if it's upgradable. All right. Thanks for watching.